Hello class, it is Bill and Don for the very last video of our class this summer on Bitcoin. And I know it's very sad. We're going to miss everyone. We have enjoyed this immensely. It's been really great to, um, to do this class and to get to know some of you through the forums um, and through some of the email conversations we've been having on the side. And we really hope that you've enjoyed getting to learn a little bit about Bitcoin, the blockchain, and the payments industry, as well as the long and, and wonderful and weird history of money. Um, there's been a terrific discussion this week about Bitcoin and governance, um, both the governance of Bitcoin from within its own system and the way that the blockchain um, is a kind of governance structure, the way that the core developers have an important role in that structure, and the way that the users ultimately make up the community that makes Bitcoin go, um, as well as the governance of Bitcoin in the broader context of how it interacts with, with state and federal law and the laws of other countries. And I just wanted to, to say um, this week, in fact, I am in New York City because I'm attending a conference on Tuesday about Bitcoin and the blockchain where Benjamin Lossky will be um, addressing the crowd. Um, Benjamin Lossky is the New York State um, Commissioner for Financial Services, who, as you probably know at this point, has been very involved in creating um, New York State regulations around Bitcoin. And what's interesting about this workshop is um, a lot of the folks who are going to be there, they're not to talk about Bitcoin as currency, but as Bit Bitcoin as a payment rail um, and Bitcoin as a registry for um, maintaining title to assets like land. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, it'll be interesting. I'll try to report back somehow on um, some of the things that are taking place. Yeah, we had some good discussion about who exactly are the users that we talk about when we talk about people in the Bitcoin community. And one of the things we really teased apart is that there are all kinds of users with different roles. We have the miners, we have the developers, we have the bankers, we have the regulators, we have the Joe consumer who wants to buy coffee at Buell. And um, a couple, of, not everyone got to see this, but in a couple of the threads that I posted, I posted a link to the GitHub page that shows all of the contributors to Bitcoin. And it was sort of interesting to see, see here's the list of 300 or so people who have actually written code that have gone into the reference client for Bitcoin. There are other clients that are available that weren't written by these people, but this is sort of the core developer team. And just realizing how, that we never really asked the question of how do you get to be one of those contributors? And I have a secret goal that I would like to someday be on that list of Bitcoin code contributors. And just to sort of like see what does it take and um, so maybe someday you'll see my name there. <laughs> we are all looking forward to that. that, that <laughs> now that will be that'll be Professor Patterson's task going forward. Um, your <laughs> task going forward is basically twofold. The first thing um, you've got to do, of course, is take the final. Um, the final exam is going to be released this Sunday at 6 p.m. Um, the thing is that you'll want to block out ahead of time two hours to take the final. Because once you access it, you're basically indicating via Triple E that you're ready to start, all right? And you will only have two hours to do it. It will sort of, something terrible will happen. A window will close and it will eat all of your work if you don't finish within two hours. I'm actually not entirely sure at all what happens if you don't finish in two hours, but you got to finish it within two hours. There's a timer. Um, it's open note, open book, but again, um, we expect you to abide by the honor code. We don't want you to collaborate with other people on this. Just sit there alone in your room with your laptop. You can access any of the lectures or readings um, or whatever that you need during it, just not your friends. And um, believe me, we will be able to know if you are um, collaborating and talking to your friends about it because um, we're going to be grading this thing all together. We'll see if there is overlap, um, too much overlap in your responses. So It's kind of painfully obvious. It's really obvious, so don't even bother trying. Okay, um, there. Serious talk over. <laughs> the if you wanted to prepare for the final um, before you actually log on and see the questions, the best thing to do is to just review the course material. Go back to the the web page where everything lives. Um, review some of the lectures that maybe you didn't pay attention to that well the first time. Um, review the the basic topics that we discussed and um, some of the core reading, and you, and I think you'll basically be fine. And just as a reminder that the, the structure of the final is five questions. They'll all be listed on the Triple E quiz format. 
but you're only expected to answer three of them. So we're going to expect you to have two of them blank. So don't freak out when you open the page and see five prompts and think, oh my gosh, I've only got two hours. We're expecting about 350 words. That's not a hard limit um, for the three questions that you choose to answer. So when you open it, scan the questions, see which ones you sort of naturally want to speak to, and take a stab at that. Probably write it in some other program other than your browser in case your browser shuts mysteriously, and then copy and paste it when you're ready to go. Right, and that's 350 words for each one. For each one, thank okay. you. Yeah, so that's the first thing going forward is the final. The second thing going forward is we know that a lot of you may um, want to keep up with some of the developments in Bitcoin and blockchain technology. Um, we really encourage you to do that. And we're going to be posting with this video um, a link to uh, an email list um, and some other resources that will allow you to um, keep going. Um, and take forward your interest in this topic. Um, I think that in the next you know, few months and years, we're probably going to see a lot more development taking place, especially around blockchain-based systems. Um, and you all now know what those are and how they work. And um, if you're interested, we'll put some material up so that you can um, follow this discussion that's taking place in computer science, in um, banking and finance, and, um, and in technology more broadly. Yeah, it's the, the mailing list is just a low-volume mailing list among people rooted at UCI to just sort of, you know, hey, I found this interesting thing. Here's a link. It's pretty low-key. Yep. So that's basically it. Um, we really hope you've enjoyed the class. We're looking forward to um, seeing your responses to the final. Um, we'll be uh, posting all the um, other grades via Triple E pretty soon, so you'll know where you stand on everything. And we just want to thank you for being willing and active participants in this class. It's been really great um, getting to know you and to, to reading your thoughts in the discussion board. Yeah, it's really interesting to hear how everyone responds to this new idea about money and kind of what their personal perspective is coming into a discussion about currency and regulation and finance. And people always have really interesting things to say. And it's a really fun time to try and guide that and learn a little bit more about Bitcoin in the process. Great. Okay. Well, we hope you enjoy the rest of your summer. Good luck on the final. Good and luck. That's us. Bye. Bye. Signing off.